In this video, we are going to talk about how to add a layer of fringe to the edge of your project. Uh, in this case, we're looking at this little mini scarf sample. This is basically a garter stitch scarf, um, a piece of it anyway, and to give it a little more personality, I've added this on the end, which is called fringe. I used to think it was called tassels, but <laughs> It's actually called fringe. So uh, this is a super easy thing that you can do. I've seen a lot of people adding this as a uh, design element to their uh, shawls recently. You can add it to uh, blankets, all kinds of things. So uh, let's see how to do it. To make this project, you're going to need uh, yarn for your tassels. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a crochet hook. And you're going to want your project that you're going to add the fringe to. And in this case, we're going to go with this big garter stitch scarf. This is actually my, uh, I call it my magic scarf. It's my uh, beginner's scarf project. And um, I will link below to where you can go and get the pattern and the lessons and everything you need if you are interested in learning to knit. And this is the perfect first project, uh, but for today let's just see how to put the fringe on the edge. I personally love pink. I do a lot of things with pink, so I thought a pink would be really pretty on this. Um, you could do any kind of color. It's, to me that's what's so fun about doing these scarves is it's an easy project to make and you can enjoy it and you can personalize it so easily. So that's what we're going to do. To start, you want to have even lengths of yarn. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wrap just around this old DVD case. Um, of course, I realize in this day and age, maybe a DVD case is sort of a retro thing to have. Um, but they're a really good length. Uh, if you want long tassels, going this way is good. So the first thing you do is you just wrap like three times. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut. So we have all of our nice even pieces. You really don't want to do any more than three. If you do more than three, it gets to be too much. We're going to lay it on our piece. And this is on the right side of the work. And we're going to come from underneath with the crochet hook. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to find a place in the knitting where I can easily insert. Um, this is good. This might be a little too close to the edge. So I'm going to come over to here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those strands and I'm going to put them under the neck of the crochet hook. And we're going to pull it through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this part and we're going to pull our pieces through. And then we're just going to gently snug that up. And you can see it gives you this really pretty little collar on the trim. And there it is. And let's do one more so you can see that. One, two, three. Now you can do more, but if you do more, it's going to be a little challenging to work with. But if you've got a big giant project and a big giant crochet hook, then you can certainly do that. The main thing to remember when you're doing this project is that you want to have the right side up on the project. And we're going to come through over here. And we're going to take our yarn and we're going to lay it on top, just like that. And you can see I'm just pulling it right through, just like that. And then we're going to pull this through. So you can see how pretty that is and how it just stacks up so nicely. 
along the bottom edge. So I'm going to go ahead, let's make one more. We'll make one more together. And then I, I think that you'll understand exactly how to do this. It's really fun. And you can make your scarf project in any color you want and then choose a contrasting color for the fringe. And it's such an easy way to make the coolest personalized project. Okay, so there's my three pieces of yarn and I am working with a super bulky weight project and I'm going to come in right about here. Generally when you're working with the projects uh, and you're adding your trims like this, going for an odd number if you can manage it is going to give the most pleasing result. Now you can see these are kind of these are not even so what I'm going to do is just even them up like that and then I'm just going to pull the ends through and then you just gently pull it down. We're just being gentle. This is not a, we're not trying to strangle the project. We're just making it nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish across and I'll meet you back here in a second. So we're back and I've put all the fringe on the bottom and I did say that normally I like to go with an odd number um, but I really don't have room on the end to put another one and in this case I think it's okay. Um, <laughs> we're not going to stress out about that. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to even up this end because that's a little bit messy and just like with pom-poms you want to give your project just a little bit of a haircut when you're done. So just you know, lay it out across. Be careful because the scissors are sharp. Hopefully that's even. <laughs> it looks a little off, doesn't it? Let's see. Okay. Oops. That's a little off. <laughs> it's not. Let's see. Let's, let's try it. Oh, that's not bad. Let's see. I mean, if you were really a perfectionist, you could get like a, could get out the ruler and and measure and all that. But you know what? It's fringe, and it's on your scarf, and it looks really cute. So that's our video for today. That's how you put fringe on your scarf, and it works with any stitch pattern. It doesn't have to just be garter. Any stitch pattern will work, and um, that's what you do. So uh, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, before you go, make sure that you uh, like the video. Hopefully you liked it. Um, leave me a comment about your experience with tassels and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and sign up to receive all of the notifications. Okay, that's it and I'll see you next time.